All right, you guys, I am happy to report that we'd have success with our sea monkey hatching. We are almost three weeks into the process right here. And even though they are very small, probably on screen, especially if you're watching this on a phone, these things in person, they are substantial. I hope you're excited to see these. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to make sure that these hatched. One of the most important things I did was use mountain spring water. That makes sure that your sea monkeys get the minerals and all the stuff that they actually need. The pH is gonna be right. You've got no fluoride, residue, anything like that. Even filtered water can have leftover contaminants in it. And that's what I used the first time I tried. Another very important thing to do is to make sure your water is aerated. And that's using a little plastic pipette like this. Once or twice a day, just to get a little extra air into the water. Helps dissolve that oxygen into the water. Keeps your sea monkeys healthy. They also absolutely enjoy going on with a little bit of the draft. So if you take it down low enough, you blow the bubble, get a little current there. They seem to really enjoy doing that. Also helps stir up their food supply. So have fun with that. Make sure you do not suck them into your pipette. That's not a good thing. The other very important consideration is to make sure you use fresh egg packs. The single most important thing I have found so far is temperature regulation. Sea monkeys, they've got a little bit of a range that they can live in and be happy, but if it fluctuates up or down too much too quickly, it can kill them, or at the very least make them sick. So I highly recommend using this little heat mat here. The first time around, I did not use it even though I had it. I was using that to help grow some plants indoors here, seed sprouts, all that. So this will double as a sea monkey heater as well as seed sprouter. So consider that. I will have links in the description for everything I'm showing here that helped make everything work better for me this second time around. The other thing I highly recommend you use is grow lights. And it doesn't even have to be super direct on the sea monkeys. Right now, that light intensity is probably a little bit too bright for them, if I'm being honest. But we've got to have nice light. That way we can capture awesome video. That aside, even indirect LED grow lights, you can get them for 20 bucks-ish on Amazon. I will have links in the description below to the ones that I'm using. It adds just a little, what it does is adds a little bit of algae to the tank, which is what these little guys feed on. The actual feed packets, those are powdered algae and the actual live growing algae is even healthier for them. So, and they will also, they're kind of like built in algae eaters. So consider that guys. And the final thing, the absolute final thing and, and probably the most important is be patient. It took a while for them to hatch even in the 75 to 80 degree temperature. Uh, they probably hatched, but I couldn't see them. They were super, super small. A couple of those in there, I'm not sure if we we're in tight enough for you to see them, but a couple of them hatched much later than these bigger ones. These were all dumped in. Uh, you did the, the first packet, which it kind of primes the water, which does have some eggs in it. And then the next one, uh, that was the next day, about 30 hours later. So these things were hatched together, so it took a little extra time to get it to work, but it works. It works great. The water is crystal clear because these are little algae eaters, and guys, try them. They're fun. I'm hoping that I'll have an update video here shortly with some brand new baby sea monkeys because we're getting close we're getting close to the point where they're actually going to start breeding and i'm excited about that like comment and subscribe and gb linden out